them have a lot more understanding just than I just list some of them. Not all of them. I hope you share today participation involved with our forum today. Because I look at the yin yang from here, you look there, so we combine together and make it perfect. And uh, yin yang is interactive. Water and uh, fire harmonize. Yeah, we know this term. Yin yang has a, a something, yin and yang is attracted to each other. <laughs> so yang and yang reject each other. So, so that is very interesting. Yeah. Yin yang is arranged in order. Why we say that? Yin yang is arranged in order. We will talk about this later on. So, yin yang, we see in the yin yang's world, everything is, is in order. In order. <coughs> it's not a mass random. Right? Not a mass random. So, that's how we can understand. Right? Definitely, yin yang. So, why is yin yang in order? Like Lao Tzu said, holding, well, all the things holding the yin yang. Carry in. Why holding yang carry in? <coughs> holding yang in front. Holding yang. Why holding yang? Because our front is the yin. Yang and the yin is close. Carry. We carry. We carry yin. Why? Our back is yang. Yin is next to it. It's in perfect order. Everything. Not just, uh, just us. Yin yang is a form of truth. Yin yang is a form of truth. Because like a confusion says, one yin and one yang, name Tao. Yin yang is so close to the truth. Because you see, yin and the yang together make a wrong one. Wrong one means perfect. Perfection. When we say a wrong one, it's perfection. That means perfection. That's how we get from the symbols. This is natural drawing. This is an invisible hand to draw this diagram. Yin yang is included. Yin yang makes the perfection. So yin yang is a form of truth. Yin yang is very accurate. Yin yang is a very useful tool for us to connect with the truth. Yin yang is the medium between the truth and, and ordinary things. Later on, we talk about that. Yin yang is the truth of the sky and the earth, and more of the things. All right, we repeat this uh, idea again. This is from Su Wen. Yin yang talking about laws. Yin yang images. Yes, sunlight, shadows, images. And uh, they have classifications in yang. Everything could be classified as yin yang, as we know. So, 88卦, 64卦, all belong to a classif classification of something. Everything we can classify. Even with one thing, different part can classify yin and yang. So, yin and yang is a very smart way to classify everything. Everything in front of you, you are able to classify. So, it's very simple. It's very simple because it's, so it's a very good tool. If it's complicated, you have to use the machine to detect it becomes complicated. Then, five elements is yin and yang. As we said, to, if we are going to understand the, the, the five elements, we have to know yin yang is behind. Five elements are different stage of yin yang. Later on, we will show you a diagram how they, uh, how they uh, come together. So wood and fire is yang is ascending. And matter and water is in. In the earth, earth actually is a combined of uh, uh, fire and water, becomes earth. Later on, we'll talk about this one. Earth, also stomach, and spleen, also like one yin and one yang. So, yin yang images include five elements. And, uh, all right, interesting. Performance and symptoms also belong to yin and, uh, yin and yang, becomes, be belong to the images images, our functions, 
your behavior, your functions, your digestion, your standing, your position, your breathing, okay, your bowel movement, everything. If sick, the symptoms is also can be classified in yang. Use in yang to understand. If a sick, if a sick, <laughs> deficiency. If a sick with a loud voice, excess, right? So, symptoms. If you're going, if you're uh, standing, leaning on here, and here, it's different meaning. Can be used in yang to understand. If standing like that and like that, it's different. Can be used in yang and like understanding. In yang understanding the difference, excessive. Not only from the functions, performance, we have lots of ways to understand that. How do we know? How do we know? Facial inspection, tongue inspection, right? Palpation, and asking. Asking is asking functions, performances, right? Disease manifestation. So, this is very important. This is very important. All this can be belong to images. Yin yang image, it's one indication of yin yang. To expand this meaning, something can be sensed. We we'll talk about this term again. Something can be sensed. Color, you can see. Inspection, facial inspection. Song, jiao zhi gong shang yu, five tongues. We can hear, we can determine, classify the yin and the yang. And the smells, taste, feelings. Oh, can be classified as yang. This is very important. This is uh, all this belong to images, mm. etc. This belong to the images of the yin and the yang. So that's the second indication. Yin yang also include movement. When you talk about yin yang, movement is inside. When you talk about yin yang, these three implications come together. Not only in the law, not only in the images, not only in the also the movement, but sometimes we talk about a year possibly and we talk about one aspect. But then it's easy to get a little bit confused. We have to be, be careful about that. So since climate changes is a movement, every movement can be classified as is belong to the one implication of yin yang. So people even number, make the numbers of the six qi. A shao yang, one, one qi. First qi, second qi, uh, second is yang mi. Three yang is tai yang. We name the yang. One yin jue yin, two yin shao yin, three yin tai yin. All right? So qi's movement, qi's movement, qi's movement in our meridians. Also, is belong to the yin yang movement, classified as movement. And the emotions, anger, what are emotions? Why say emotions that you belong to the movement? Because in Su Wen chapter 66, we talk about this compare that uh, the emotions in our body is just similar to the six climate changes. We can imagine. The climate changes all the year around. Our emotions also change like the climate. Our internal weather also have lots of similarities. So this is talking about movement and the yin yang transforming. The process also involved in the movement. Just we mentioned about it. from one yang to two yang to three yang. The guest chi in the Wu Liu Xi theory is transforming like that. So it's one yin, two, uh, one yin, two yin, three yin, one yang, two yang, three yang. This is sequence. The yin yang changes like that. All right, talk about all these uh, and, uh, implications about the yin yang, actually. The purpose, actually. We want to get the values from it. And then we need to choose, accomplish, apply the values, make it come to truth, to the real kind of benefit. That's the purpose. So I listed some of the values I experienced 
understand it, but I hope all of you. It's not all. It's a very huge topic. In Yang's the guidelines. In Yang's the guidelines. Look at the classics. Wan Yin and Wan Yang name the Tao. Yin Yang is very close to the Tao. Tao is the truth. As Lao Tzu says, Tao generate one, one generate two, two generate three, three generate all. All the things carry in holding Yang, be in harmony. So this is a very famous sentence. Very famous sentence in the Lao Tzu. Taoism also from Yi Jing. So they share the same value. Same value. So, how we understand that? How we understand that? As I said, Yin Yang seems to be the mediator between the all things and the truths. Yin Yang is the mediator. So Confucian is said. Yin Yang, that means Tao. Yin Yang equal to the Tao. Yin Yang is very important. Lao Tzu said, Tao generated one, one generated two. Two is, can be said as Yin Yang. Then after two, three, all the things. Then all the things, all the things that may be lost, we can be connected with Yin Yang to the truth. So Yin Yang is so important. Give us guidelines, give us understandings, give us clear mind about what is happening. If in our mind is all the things, <coughs> millions of trillions of things, how you understand? Maybe you have to try one by one. But because all the things can be linked with the truth by yin and yang, so we use these great tools. We can connect all the things to the truth. So that is from the classics understanding. So, so that is why Neijing put in Yang to the superior criteria guidelines. In chapter seven, only familiar with Yin Yang don't have to discuss with the others. This is very interesting. Usually, we think knowledge we learn here and there. But he just stressed, only talk about Yin Yang. So that means everything we learn from there and there, different skills, different techniques. But you have to comply with Yin and Yang. If it's not it's against the Yin and Yang, it's, it's not a true knowledge. It can be changed. Yeah, they're not sure. But if it's unchanged, you can sure what is happening. So we're learning here and there, broken knowledge, piece of knowledge, piece of knowledge. We have to use the yin yang ideas to link them together. Then that really becomes your knowledge, your ideas, your understandings. So so this um put it in a very high guidelines. And also in the treatment, yin yang, uh, regulated yin yang achieve the balance. Regulating yin yang. Only regulating yin yang, that's the super principle. Treat, treating is very simple. If you have the term of yin yang, just regulate yin yang. How to regulate yin yang? What is the meaning between the balance of yin and yin yang? Later on, we'll talk about that. All right, so another value, I want to say, yin yang and TCM research. Yin yang and TCM research. For any of the things, how do we learn the TCM? So, we have to be, first of all, my, my understanding, we have to then know the yin yang law, understanding and change the laws or the principles. You, only, you, you know that something unchanged, this principle, then you can apply to something is changing. 
every day we meet somebody different. Even one person come to you in a different day, they are different. Yes, everybody knows. So, so understanding connected with yin yang is so important because we connect yin as the media to the truth. We connect with the yin yang, then we connect with the truth, <coughs> and we can apply the truth in our practice and achieve its real benefits. Yeah. To treating the diseases and, and increased clinical success. All right, and also case study. I think a case study is very important. So that's why I, 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 I list some cases today. Case study. Why? Case really the images. Case is image. Case come to you is serious images. Is that right? <coughs> serious images come together becomes one case. Is a moving images, is connected images, becomes one case. So case can be classified as images. As images mean, yeah. So you read that the chain images detect or comprehend what is unchanged. That is the yin yang law, the principles and mechanisms in the cases. Because, because every image include the laws unchanged truth inside. So then you get unchanged, then you can apply to your practice. For example, very successful cases, great value. So don't miss that. But we don't have to collect hundreds of cases together. That's impossible because everybody different. How you make hundred cases the same is impossible. It's not a value. It's no value. The only value is you trust is a very true, very honest record, record, record of the clinical cases. It's a great value. So, for example, Feng Long, for example, one people use the Feng Long and the flames going down in a minute. For example, one guy, you can hear the flames inside the chest, clo, 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 clo. then you apply the Feng Long, calm down. Immediately, almost. All right, this is important case. So we can say, oh, Feng Long is the stomach meridians. Is the low point. You put the low point internally, and then it's connected with the spleen point. All right? Actually, Feng Long is purified the spleen, so that's why I clear the flame. Okay. How about blood stasis? Why not his go bladder points to lower points to go to treat the blood stasis in his liver? So that's why. You know the, the mechanisms. This is one example. You know that you get the values from there, then you apply. Just like the confusions. Uh, like one of his students very much, Confucius, he said, he's a young boy, he's a very good, good student. Why? Because I talk about one thing to him, he knows 10, 10 categories already. So this is expanding knowledge very quick, very quick. So, so that's the meaning of the case. Although we see in our eyes is one case, there's millions, hundreds of cases behind. Because the truth is never changed. We know the truth from this case, we can apply. Sometimes we can maybe we can directly go into the connected with the yin yang laws, but we can direct in, uh, uh, indirectly approach the truth by connecting with the cases. Cases sometimes it's easy because why? Images is a simple. Image is simple. One of the characters of images is a simple. We talk about three uh, 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 principles, but also the uh, same as the three principles. 
the law is never change and change. The image is, is simple, simple to understand. So before I write some articles about the, the theorists, not, not many people connected, responding. But after I write some <laughs> articles about the cases, yeah, it's more, more respondents. Because, because cases is more simple way to approach to the truth. But if you, if you get hundreds of millions of cases, the same problem, so you have to understand what meaning. You, you don't, we don't learn the formulas or, the, uh, or, or, or that hurts or like points. You don't do that. We know the unchanged laws behind the cases. That's very valuable. That's very valuable. Because all the successful cases must have successful, complete, perfect laws behind. Of course, if it is a non-successful, it's not so much value. Only the successful cases, great value, great value. So that's a, talking about something that is different. TCM research is quite different. Yeah. So, all right. I, I'm also talking about something about Yin Yang and Earth. Yin Yang and Earth. I think that is great value. In and on earth. So we talk about harmony, balancing. How we get a balance? Yin yang balance. All right. Yin yang balance actually is water and fire balanced. And the yin wei harmony. Yin wei actually. Uh, yin wei actually means the liver and uh, and the lung harmony. Harmony. Water and fire is on the top in our body. Fire and water, they have to be harmonized. We talk about too much harmonized, the heart, the fire, the water, but we don't talk too much about harmonized between uh, liver and uh, lung. Actually, TCM do talk about that. It's just another name, it's Yin Wei. Yin Wei harmony. Yin Wei harmony. And uh, all right. So, how we understand that? Uh, this is the diagram I want to say. So, kidney is water and fire, and the lung and the liver. They harmonize. Where comes the earth? Earth. There's no earth. Only in, the liver, uh, only in the water and fire combined, plus the liver and the lung combined, becomes earth. If they're not harmonized, not combined, there's no earth. So we can see, if somebody really has a disorder of, uh, of uh, spleen and stomach problem, how do you treat the root? The root is from the fire water. The root is from the liver and the lung. So that is why stomach spleen problems sometimes is very difficult. But if you can look at the, the other parts who's involved, it becomes mm -hmm. easier. It becomes easier. For example, this when this all combined together, this is a little bit slight light red color of the face. That is earth. That is perfection. Healthy. Because this is a middle chi of the water and the fire, of the, uh, of the lung and the, of the wood and the metal. Right? But if you see some red in the face, that means a little bit of heat inside. So you need to clear some heat. Or you just bring the heat to combine with the, the, the water. So you have to fix that. Uh, heat, right? So somebody, if they come to the clinic, they say, oh, I'm a sleeping uh, problem, insomnia. So insomnia, I, I know immediately his stomach not right. His digestion must be disordered. Why? Because heart and uh, uh, fire and river, uh, liver, uh, water disharmonized. There's no root for the, for, the, for the earth. Earth must be sick. So this is a uh, 
is a very great value. It's, uh, because the stomach chi is the acquired root, acquired foundation. Acquired foundation. So that is so important. So, yeah. This is uh, have a, a, a lot of uh, value, very good value in our practice, in our diagnosis, in our treatment, for the combined. All right. So talking about a little bit more, how do you harmonize the, the liver, uh, uh, the water, fire and water? Just come in formula, who can say that? For me, I, I use uh, like Zhong uh, <laughs> and Qi uh, Hai, harmonize. Is that Zhong and Qi Hai harmonize? Once you put one Zhong is in the middle of the body, and then you consolidate the middle qi. Then you bring that middle qi come to the to the water. That bring the fire and water harmonized. This I quite often use this one. Right? And uh, Zhong Wan is a very uh, special point. Very special point. Talk about some clinical stuff. We don't have to have enough time. A short time. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, you can use this formula. All right. So, how do you harmonize liver and uh, and the lung? Liver and lung. How do you harmonize? I use a, a formula. It's quite interesting. Quite effective. So, liver. How to use liver? It's so. I use uh, one point, Da Li, Da Li point. Why use Da Li? Da Li is the earth point of pericardium. Pericardium is five. So I find that the livers stagnated, or uh, livers not connected with the uh, lung. So I do the upper stream, or the lower, the downstream, Da Li, a pericardium meridian, that is a heart meridian. Pericardium, similar to heart. Then, because it's heart meridian of the earth, Da Li is earth. Earth can tonify, can support the metal. Is that right? No? This, this, uh, this course has been connected. This course has been connected. Then I use another one to Tian Shu. Tian Shu is a matter point. I put a Tian Shu, insertion Tian Shu. Then the matter point is a superficial. The Qi is in superficial. But if you put that in the another D, then it's connected with the kidney. Kidney is deep. Tian Shu is a dominant qi, stomach qi, uh, a lung qi. So you put that insertion D, so it's connected with the uh, kidney. So that is all connected. That's a regulated in a way. So that's my formula. I, I apply that. Quite interesting. You can apply. Because